Technomancer for zero point fuel. I've had quite a few requests for a smaller version of the motor similar to the Mini and uh, what I've been working on over the holiday here is a way to build a motor that utilizes group fire but is easily you can change the positions of the coils and it's built on the same principles as the large motor but the one difference will be that as you can see these small coils they have the control board on the back well that's just not feasible on a small scale uh, what I'm using is this ring here and obviously you wouldn't want it to have a hole in the middle but it's a little harder for me to align but I, I used it in another project and I want to use this wheel it has steel behind the magnets as you can see here the plates is, are all the same amount of plates behind each one of the magnets so I should be able to balance it and I should be able to center it using a front cover and a back cover on it so I'm going to use this as a wheel here's a graphic of what I'm doing but this is designed in such a way that there's an outer ring that the coils get mounted to well these are interchangeable they can be removed and this material this is what I'm using on this motor now I could use polycarbonate and or something else but a lot of people don't have access to that but this is what I'm using here this is just fiberboard and it's pretty tough stuff and you can see I laid it out similar to this but what it'll have this is already marked so you're going to be able to make a small tool and on the larger one you might have seen where the tool runs all the way over top of it I'm gonna stop doing that because it's just it complicates the build for everybody and all you really need is something like this so and if you notch it like this then it goes on the shaft and it lines up with the line and you're able to mark it no pens and you need a straight edge on it a nice clean straight edge with a notch like that it also using these holes allows me to create the circumference um, if I had a hole bigger I could actually cut it using a, a small tool like this I'm lucky enough I built something on top of a router as you can see so it makes it easier for me to just slide this piece in and out and use a router to do it um, not everybody can do that but you can build a little small tool like this that gives you a swivel point to cut these pieces out now this thing because it's going to run group fire and probably running 120 volts as well but at super low amperage the small mini is capable of doing easily 3600 rpm and it's running 12 volts so this is going to have six coils on it two master coils which are going to be out here and then these are slaves these four are slaved to these master coils that way they can be closer together because it's not going to induce a current in the trigger the triggers are as far away as I can make them from another coil so it should work with it being this close together I don't know that for sure but this is going to test that out it's also going to test the steel behind the magnets which increases the magnetic flux on the front and this new ring system and what the ring system let me pull one of these off here so you can see basically it's a ring and the ring will have a slot down through it so you could take off all the screws on one side and slide this ring off without taking the wheel off or taking all the coils off circuit control boards are going to be mounted down on the base and then the wires from the coil itself have to run all the way to the base all six of them so they'll be stretched out so you'll have some slack to move them around a little bit it's just like the big motor it's going to have a uh, a bearing and a mount this ring gets mounted to the opposite side of this mount for the shaft that's 
represents the axle with the wheel on it. And then this gets bolted to that. And then as you add the coils, that'll add rigidity to the frame. And then this just gets bolted down to a base. And it looked good in 3D. It looks like it's going to work just fine. And I made it under a foot. And that's kind of important for you home builders because most people don't have a drill press that can drill something larger than a foot deep. So I wanted to make it so you could ensure your shafts and everything are straight by using a drill press. I'm just trying to give you an idea of scale. This is a small motor. It's barely bigger than the Mini. And I wanted to show you these are those are the magnets for the generator. There's not much to them. They're pretty strong. They're neodymiums, but um, with uh, 36 coils and three of these in a row, that should make a, generate quite a bit of power for something this small. You can see how it's set up. Now I've got some gearing concepts that I'm going to apply, but the first one's a simple one. It's just small gear on the wheel and a larger gear on the shaft. If it's running 3,000 RPM, I could make it three to three or four to one and apply that as torque to the generator. So that's kind of what's going on. I, I wanted to give you guys just a lowdown. I'll be posting some graphics and a booklet once the motor's built. Um, the other manuals are getting reviewed right now and um, I've got somebody proofing the material for me. So there'll be a new magnetic alignment guide, the large motor book, and this little small motor book that'll cover the generators for those different sizes. So that's guys, I'm still working on this stuff. I had a lot of work I had to do and all that's done. I'm working on this stuff over the holidays. It's, just, it's so simple, I could probably, if I worked on it solid, I could put it together in a couple days. For now, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out. Mm -hmm.